Hello everyone, my name is Pixelriffs, welcome back to Pixark. How are you guys doing? Hope you're all having a good day. We are doing a little bit of work on the castle here and there. Is a little bit of stuff to recap that happened off camera. For a start, <laughs> I have a couple of rocks to add to the Lake of Loss because we have lost a couple of dinos, but we have regained them. They've been reincarnated. Iceman has died a couple of times. And where is Goose? Yeah, Goose <laughs> Goose naturally had to die at some point. So, uh, yeah, I, I've gone on a couple of expeditions off camera to get some more resources, just sort of general, you know, gathering stuff. We went over to the Magic Forest to grab a little bit more magic bark and magic fiber and all that kind of stuff. And, yeah, we ended up getting attacked by a, by a Shadow Leopard. And that was, that was a vicious creature, <laughs> as they tend to be. So uh, I ended up basically sacrificing one of my Pteranodons and a, uh, a Triceratops because I was going over there to see if the trikes would actually harvest any of the, the magic wood stuff. And they can get the, the fibers from the ground, but if you try and take down a magic tree with one of these guys, nothing. You get zero resources. The tree gets destroyed and you harvest nothing. I don't know if that's a bug or if it's just... They're not the uh, the best dinos for the job kind of thing. But yeah, they destroy trees. Just just no resources from that. But I managed to tame myself a Shadow Leopard while I was there. So this is Azula. And I made one of these fantastic things. I mentioned this briefly at the end of the last episode. And unfortunately, the problem with it right now, if I, <laughs> I think I can take all of these and I get super over encumbered. But then if I drop these back in one at a time, you will see that they actually turn up as cubes in the machine, which I would love to happen, like, all the time. But unfortunately, it seems like when, you, uh, when you're away from it, or when you log out, when you log back in, the machine shows as empty, which frightened the bejesus out of me the first time I used it, but then I noticed it's just a rendering issue. It's not necessarily a problem with them actually disappearing from the, from the inventory in here. So I've basically pix-blocked a bunch of the dinosaurs that I tamed but wasn't really using including the derps the derps is in here uh and fate the direwolf is in here i actually have another direwolf right now who you might have seen wandering around just a second ago one thing to remember about this is not to hit e anywhere near it because the default action for e is enable pix block auto release and i do not want to do that because then everything comes out of this machine basically at once and you just get this huge pile of dinosaurs some of which are like stuck inside the machine here and it just turns into a giant mess but basically after the incident with the stegs in the last episode i decided i'd probably be better off keeping a bunch of dinos picks blocked in here and only having maybe like four or five out at a time obviously the pteranodons are all over the place right now because i've been auditioning new ones <laughs> trying to get them to level up a little bit so they'll do more damage have more stamina that kind of thing this is chaos the direwolf I, I was just looking around for a direwolf who would be a slightly higher level than Fate was, and I chose Chaos. Uh, I managed to trap him inside a box and tame him, and yeah, it was it was pretty easy. I've, I'm learning slowly but surely that taming stuff by trapping it inside of a box is not really cheaty so much as you'd expect it to be. I mean, it's a bit of a cheese, but some of the stuff in this game is so overpowered compared to what level the player is or any of the any of the dinos you've tamed at the time. That to tame anything, you've really got to find some kind of like cheaty method to uh, to go with. So yeah, I <laughs> I've, I've I've been going around trying to locate stuff that it's easy to cheese, and that direwolf happened to be one of them. It, it still took a little bit of trouble, it, and I think one of the uh, one of the pteranodons actually died in that particular attempt. But we got ourselves another direwolf, so chaos is going to be taking us over to some more of the uh, the temples and stuff. Hopefully, we'll be able to take on some of those. I've heard and seen that there are also temples underground, so we might actually have to go on a bit of an underground caving expedition to see if we can uh, locate one of those, because there are, like, zombie structures underground, little temples with occasional cool stuff in that seem to be, like, the midpoint between the ruins that I found in the mountain forest and the ruins I'm finding elsewhere, which are just made out of rock and have crazy powerful stuff in like skeletons and whatnot so as you can see over here at the castle i'm planning a giant circular structure this is going to be like a central tower that comes out of the middle and i want it to kind of be visible from over here because the problem with the walls of this castle right now if we if we hop down here and i take a look at it from the outside hopefully you'll be able to see it okay maybe we can light the torches out here so you can see a little better 
The problem with it right now is that it needs an extra layer of depth beyond that front wall, except I've made the walkway right behind that. So if I build anything on top of that walkway, then it's going to end up with a, uh, a, lot, a lot less room to move around up there. So what I decided to do is build a giant circular tower out the back of it using a uh, circle generator kind of program that I found online and calculating this. So I think it's like 24 blocks wide. Something like that. I, I didn't go for anything exact, and I don't really know what the dimensions of this whole structure are going to be yet, but I figured it was worth doing. And now we're going to take out these first layers of blocks right here, and this is going to be where we plant the foundations for the rest of the tower. And once we plant the foundations, we can take them out, so if I wanted to build it up from ground level in some form, then I probably could, but this is going to look pretty cool regardless, I think. And what I'm working towards right now is a couple of levels. First of all, I want to get to level 45 because the something was over here. Um, stone behemoth gates aren't that important. What was it at level 45 that we got that looked really cool? Um, RG saddles are going to be interesting. Basically, I'm working towards level 48 ultimately because that's when you get the marble stuff. And I'm, you guys know me, I'm into like acquiring whatever building blocks I can acquire. Um, level 50, we get some stuff. I really need to start looking into industrial stuff and firearms because I have a feeling that might actually be worth investigating for some, uh, some dungeon raids at some point. But yeah, level 45 is also where you start unlocking all of the Mediterranean stuff, none of which I've found blueprints for. I found the blueprint for some Western Wood stairs in one of my raids, and I was so happy about that. I actually have two blueprints, I think, for that one, which is kind of annoying because I didn't realize you could get duplicates of these blueprints, but that does seem to be the case. If uh, if we go in here, if in one of the towers, I think I ended up storing it. Oh, and by the way, the other thing I've done off camera is really work on some storage and getting things a little bit organized. Storage in this game is a little bit awkward. You either have stacked up chests like this, or you have the large storage chests which don't contain as much, but take up a larger area. And so far, basically, I've got some building blocks in here, which is the kind of wood, marble, clay, dirt, stone, that kind of thing. And sandstone, I've started to acquire a little bit of. Hi there. <laughs> Theo just poking his nose through the wall. And I've also got this storage area out here, which we plan on using to maybe store some of the crafting ingredients like flint, leather, and fur, that kind of thing. I think the magic ingredients are now over here as well. So slowly but surely, I'm putting together a, a storage system for things. One thing I have noticed is that the, the bookcase here, the bookshelf, you're supposed to be able to store blueprints in it. It's got 150 slots. Doesn't work. You can't drag anything in there. Like, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't even matter whether it's a blueprint or not. You just can't store anything at all inside the bookshelf right now. So hopefully that will change at some point. But where be the blueprint? I'm pretty sure it's stored in here. Yes, there you go. Westernwood stair blueprint. So I have two of those already. Uh, I found them ba basically both, I think, in the same structure on the same raid never mind either way uh the the stairs we we actually have now and i think i've used them a couple of times in here already yes there they are western stair they're actually meant for kind of like wild west style builds so stuff that you would build out in the desert so that's kind of cool like i, I like the progression of that the fact that you you're supposed to move out of the novice grasslands at some point and set up in the desert which is sort of the next the next major biome up on the list you've got mountain forest swamp and then desert so you're supposed to be able to graduate from each area to the next. But considering I've started my enormous castle project here, I figure we may as well see it through here in the novice grassland. So the idea for this tower is to have a bunch of other smaller towers sort of branching off it and overlapping, sort of like a Venn diagram. If you can imagine that, I think that's going to look pretty cool. And one of them will have to be the, the tower where we put all of our mage stuff, because I want a wizard tower in this game. That's probably uh, probably one of my... My earliest thoughts was like, hey, we need, to get, we need to make a wizard tower if there's magic stuff in this game. So the castle is going to have one of those. And now we get to go all the way around the outside, filling in these stone wall blocks. And this is going to take a little while to get it to the height that I want it to be. So I'm probably going to do this off camera. But you can actually build pretty fast in this game once you know how. You can just kind of click your way through this stuff. And the fact that you can't place blocks somewhere is actually kind of helpful because it means you don't misplace a whole bunch of them sometimes. And I'm going to need a lot more stone walls for this. So I'm going to go and prepare some more of those off camera for you guys. And we'll come back when a little bit more of this has been done. Well, it ain't exactly finished, but it's a start. <laughs> and I like the way this is coming together. It's, it's definitely not going to floor yet. I'm working on that right now. And already things are coming into place. I think it's going to look pretty great once it's done. The outside of it is maybe 12, 13 blocks wide. 
maybe not quite that high. I can't. I, I didn't really count, to be honest. I just went for it. Uh, yeah, I'd say ten, 10 to 12 blocks high right now. And this door leads into this precarious walkway. <laughs> but I want to do a little bit of detail around the outside as seen from below. I want to have like an interesting ceiling for this room down here, which is why I've done this stepped up thing with the the ceiling blocks that form the floor of the of the tower above. And I've found out a couple of fairly interesting things. For a start, you can actually attach ceiling blocks to the sides of foundation blocks. That already makes building very much easier than it was before, because before I was having to place a foundation, then place a wall, then place a ceiling on top of that, and then build out from that ceiling. But if you can build out from the foundation block, you already have a second layer going on, which is how come I've been able to do this kind of staggered thing going on here. And the floor is all going to be at one level, but I wanted the ceiling to have a kind of inward slope, almost like it's a domed ceiling, I guess. But around the outside, I want to do some detail work with stone ceilings, with clay ceilings, and with probably some sandstone ceilings as well. And of course, the weather is brightening up now. So now when I look at it from over here, it doesn't have to look quite so drab because of that rainy weather. There we go. That's what it should look like. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. So I'm going to fly out to the desert because I need to grab some sandstone. The only sandstone I had, I already made into walls and floors to see what they looked like, but I did not get a chance to build any any ceilings. But I think a three color pattern of the gray stone, the lighter kind of beige sandstone and the, the red kind of clay color would look really great. So I'm going to saddle up Iceman. We're going to fly over to the desert. I'm going to increase his uh, stamina, I guess, because stamina is always really useful for these flyers. And we're going to head out to the desert that's over in this direction, kind of borders on that magic forest and the uh, the Golden Realm. Oh, one other thing I wanted to do, thinking of Golden Realm and, and some of the stuff. I've, I've been sneaking little bits and pieces here and there from the other the slightly more dangerous biomes, and that's probably how I've lost a couple of the Pteranodons here and there as well. But one thing I really wanted to make was an ice spear. You get this in the magic skills section, and it's something you can make in the magic workbench, but it requires some pretty end game level resources. Some ice crystal, which you get from the frozen biomes, and some dark wood, which is from the dark forest and doomland. I think maybe the doomlands has it. No, maybe the Doomlands is like a desert style thing. I can't really remember, but the, the Dark Forest is where I got it. And that's the, the crazy one with all the werewolves and the, the undead and stuff in it. So it was a little bit tricky and I lost the Pteranodon too. I think a plant, like a magic plant was attacking me. But I brought back enough stuff to make myself an ice spear. Some icicle dragon bones we had already. I got some ice crystal very quickly from the neighboring ice biome. And I can make myself an ice spear. And this... Thing should be pretty great. I think it's going to be a lot better than the copper spear I'm currently using. So let's give this thing a try. Okay, that's that's pretty pretty emphatic one shot right there. Not even a flinch. Okay, well hopefully it'll be just as good against other enemies. But this is this thing is already looking pretty awesome. I got to say. So let's see. Let's saddle up, Ice Man. Let's go over to the desert and let's see if we can uh, take out some of the stuff that's over there while we collect some sandstone. And I'd say this looks like the place to do it. <laughs> we need to level him up one more time, so let's grab a little bit more stamina. I think stamina and weight are usually a pretty uh, pretty great idea for the Pteranodons. They, 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 both, they need both of those, really, <laughs> to be able to carry you to and from places quicker. And you can't buff the speed, so basically stamina is the best thing to get. Now... I'm hearing a lot of wind noise. Hopefully there aren't any sandstorms that blow up in the area because I want to be able to find my way back to my Pteranodon. But the stuff around here can be pretty dangerous if you're not prepared for it. So hopefully this spear should be enough. I'm also not wearing particularly great armor. Like a lot of people upgrade to like copper and copper bone armor by this point. And I think I have the stuff I need to do that. I do need to take out a couple more things that will give me bone. But the terror birds are watching me from... A safe distance right now and if I need to get out my spear at short notice I can give him a couple of whacks we will see but I'm still trying to follow that rule of like magic weapons work better on magic enemies and physical weapons work better on physical enemies I'm not certain how well the magic stuff holds up against stuff that is more physically inclined so something better attack me so I can find out what that does oh hello can I tame one of these yet I think I have to be level 50 to tame a para so let's quickly check seeing as you wandered over oh there's a a carbonemus what are you are you a passive oh yes i can tame you i can tame you oh exciting times how about you though 
Need to be level 50. Okay, fair enough. Well, Carbonemus sounds good to me. Now, let's see what we have. Taming food in the last slot. Are you a berry eater? You seem like you might be a berry eater, turtle buddy. Yes, Tinto Berry. Okay, cool. Well, if I can grab some truffles or something around here, that would be really useful. I don't have any on me right now because I've been building a ton and they expire pretty quick. But if you hang around a little bit longer, maybe we can uh, feed you a couple more Tinto Berries or maybe... There are some mushrooms that... Ah, yes, mushrooms grow down here. Fantastic. All right. Well, uh, we'll keep Iceman waiting on the fringes over here for now. And I can probably make my way down into this cave and grab some truffles real fast. Okay, we got a scorpion on our tail. Let's find out how well this thing does. Probably not all that great against scorpions, to be honest. They are pretty tough and also very poisonous. Oh, I think... <laughs> I think something may have encountered my Tyranodon. Either that or I'm being tracked by something. Whenever the, the dramatic music starts up, that's when I know I've got to worry. Okay, looks like we're in the clear. Looks like we're in the clear. Nothing to worry about yet. Every now and again, that music starts up and I'm not being attacked by anything. And I'm like, oh great, my fly is under attack. Now, how many truffles did we get from that? Eight should be enough to tame this thing. And assuming it's going to stick around for long enough, hopefully it hasn't wandered off got bored from the fact that I'm not feeding it right now. Uh-oh. <laughs> Looks like the more dangerous stuff has come out to play. I kind of wonder if we can get ourselves that Sarko, but... Uh, let's quickly wander over here and see what the raptor has been killing, because there are a couple of, couple of nice-looking chests over here that I might want to check out. Hello, what are you? Oh, some bone and some bone pieces? Yes, please. I'll take those. What else is around here? Oh, there's a Chomper. <laughs> Get out of here, Chomper. I don't want to mess with you. Aha, some more bone stuff. Very good, very good. The Chomper is now firing at me. Oh, joy of joys. Nope, that's it. Get back. Get back. I don't want to see you around here. Did that thing wander off down into the cave? I wonder if it did. Either that or it's getting a flank on my flyer. We will see. Oh. Oh. Nope, it is hanging out in the swamp, and what a good place for it. Man, I'm so bummed that that carbon emis wandered off. Let me go and see if I can find that real fast. So it was a level 50, which is not bad. Level 50 stuff is usually pretty good. Hello, is it you? Are you the guy? Oh, level 46. You're not bad either. I wonder if I can just drop down here and, and attempt a quick tame real fast. Feel a truffle? Yeah, there we go. Truffles are the, the jam. For a lot of these guys, the herbivores, they love them some truffles. Okie doke. Well, it looks like a raptor is killing some stuff over there. <laughs> I guess I'll fly around on Iceman for now. I don't need to stay on the ground. Just got to pop down and uh, give this thing some food anytime it wants it. Okay, yeah, the raptor just teared, tore that other carbo apart. How about we swoop in and show it what for? Whoa, get out of here, you. Tyranodons are not too bad at attacking things. Hey, no, 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 no. No, no, you get out of here. That's right. Yeah. Get it. Oh, did I... Did I just aggro that? Did I kind of attack it? I'm sorry, you got hit by splash damage. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> Let me get out of the way here and de-aggro it a little bit. Hopefully it ain't so mad at me if I uh, fly off and come back. Man, that is the problem with this game. Sometimes you just want to save something skin... And is not so happy with you afterwards. Hey there, friend. Can I feed you again? That probably reset the tame counter as well, didn't it? Hey, buddy. Yeah, of course it did. Of course it did. No worries, though. We should be just fine. <laughs> we can take care of the raptors around here. Thankfully. We could always tame ourselves a raptor while we're here as well. I've already got one back in the, uh, in the computer, <laughs> as it were. In the little uh, pix block storage thing. And there's a frog over there as well. Beelzebufo. Do you like truffles as well? Can I even tame you? You're not a tameable, tameable chap? Oh, you are. Passive. Maybe you like meat, though. Interesting. Well, I guess we're going to have to protect this carbo a little bit if it's uh, going to wander off like this. Got to wait until it's hungry again. Come on, buddy. You know you want some truffles. Oh, gosh. <laughs> the raptors are tangling with Iceman again. Level 55. Oh, dear. Okay. Well, we better intervene here, hadn't we? 
Yeah, get wrecked. <laughs> this ice spear is pretty good. Pretty good. I like that. Oh, gosh. He's, he's hurting. Okay, we need to heal him up real fast. Ice buddy. Come here. Come here, friend. Got to remote use some of that. Okay. Okay. Now, where'd that carbo get off to? Okay, I'll hop off ice here. He can find some place to land. Dang it with the car... The freaking raptors. Every time. Stop messing with the stuff I'm trying to tame. Thank you. Gosh. Oh, and you're, you're angry at me as well now. Great. Well, that's the tame reset again, isn't it? Iceman, no. Buddy. <sighs> Stop trying to eat the stuff I'm trying to tame. <laughs> Stop landing next to the carnivorous plants as well. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Looks like we better just stick to getting sandstone today, folks. You know what? I've gathered a decent amount. I've got about uh, I've got about 105, something like that. So we can probably make our way home now. <laughs> I'm sick of the stuff in this swamp not behaving. We're going to have to move here at some point and really check out what's around. I think this spear is going to be good enough to defend me from raptors for the time being. It seems like pretty, pretty OP for the level I'm at right now. So I don't know. The real test is going to be whether or not it can take out plague zombies, because those things are tough, and they are kind of the major barrier for me exploring the caves under my base right now. And I thought I saw one over here. The red eyes in the darkness. And I did promise fairly early on that I would wreck these guys if I saw them again. Come at me, buddy. Come get some ice spear. Yeah, that's right. Oh, wreck your day in three shots. Oh, and you freaking lay down some poison. Oh, wow. What the heck? That sucked. Freaking poison trap after they die. Okay. All right, well, that's something to be aware of. But we took that thing out in three hits. Freaking ice spear OP for days. I like it. Okay, we just hit level 35 from crafting stone ceilings, and let me apply another. Uh, let me let me go for health. I feel like I need a little bit more health if we're going to be exploring some of those crazier biomes. But now that means I have access, at least, although I don't have the blueprints for this Mediterranean-style stuff. But it's got that blue and white look. And you guys know I'm all about that blue and white look. It's also got a roof blueprint, which I'm interested to see if we can find, but... Some of this stuff looks interesting. It's it's certainly got a classier look to it. A little bit more a little bit more European. We'll we'll see how we get on with that. Uh hopefully we'll be able to find some at some point. But in the meantime, I've started on the uh the ceiling of this place and technically kind of the floor of the room below, although it's all gonna be floored off with the uh with the wood wood ceilings, I think. I think we're just going to put a pattern together here, kind of almost like a mosaic ceiling, and see how we get on. Yeah, that's not looking terrible so far. <laughs> it's You've got such a limited block palette to work with with this game, especially when it comes to ceilings and stuff, unless you've unlocked a ton of the blueprints, that I'm kind of just willing to work with what I've got for now, and we'll see how it turns out in the long run. I really wish I had access to marble stuff already. Yeah, the marble stuff does not hit until level 48, so we have got a long way to go before that, and I cannot wait to get this thing done, so I, I think we're just going to have to go with it for now. Well, I've got to say that as ceilings go, that is not bad. <laughs> that is That is significantly good, I think. It worked out a lot better than I planned. It's <laughs> it kind of feels like the German flag in a lot of places. <laughs> it's got a lot of it's got this German colors going on. That's kind of cool. I like that. So let's let's head up here and let, let me show you what I've uh, got going on up here in the tower and this ice spear is just the best thing ever. Like I've killed a bunch of dinos with it now. It's it's really cool. But yeah, up here we have ourselves a wooden floor going into place. This is all ceiling blocks which will actually tile out really easily from the blocks that I've already placed, I just have to make sure that I get them going in the right direction, which a lot of the time they're not. <laughs> so I might have to tweak that a little bit off camera. See, all of this stuff is going in the uh, in the right direction there, but then I keep forgetting to rotate it when I do the sides, and so everything ends up kind of uneven. But yeah, I can take these up and then just rotate the block and fill them back in easily enough. So that's that's not too bad. And up here, I think, is where it's going to be my, like, living quarters. I'm going to have a bed up here and stuff. We're going to do a little bit of decoration for that kind of thing. But, oh boy, I'm happy with this. I love the fact that the, the ceiling actually came up to the level of the floor. And so I figured, hey, why not? I'll just have it uh, 
have it kind of ha have these decorative squares in it. And those look pretty good. They almost look like arrows pointing inwards to here or something like that. But th they, these are these are some pretty nice building blocks. I have to say, like the sandstone, I, I don't like it in huge quantities and it doesn't really mix well with like the walls of the castle. That's kind of what I'm waiting on the marble for. But yeah, guys, the ceiling. The ceiling looks pretty great. It, it blends... The sandstone blends really well with regular wood. So if you're building something and you want that uniformity of color, but you want a bit of difference in the decoration, then then wood and sandstone, probably a good, a good mix together. Good for a desert build, of course. But yeah, now I'm going to have to figure out a way of integrating this into the rest of the structure, probably put some pillars down in here. And obviously we're going to have a throne room in here. That's what the carpet here is kind of leading up to. There's going to be a throne somewhere in that direction. But yeah, I mean, as far as the scale of the build goes, this is a massive increase. And I'm really happy with the way it looks, especially from, from outside over here. Like, I keep coming back to look at it from, from this angle across the bridge and thinking, is that the right sort of scale? And I think we've nailed it. I think maybe it needs perhaps a couple more, couple more blocks on top, maybe some ramparts kind of like this has, like, increase the, the outward scope of it a little bit. But as far as towers go, that is... It's pretty sizable. And now we are much better equipped to defend it with an ice spear. I mean, look at this. <laughs> like, it just... It cuts through pteranodons like butter. That is... That is the coolest weapon in this game so far. I'm really looking forward to seeing what else this game has to offer. But I think we're going to call it there for the episode. I think we've done a lot today. And I was hoping to get a tame in, but I have a feeling that taming anything over in the swamp is going to be a bit of a disaster <laughs> for the time being. So that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching Pixar. My name has been Pixar Riffs. The spear is real. <laughs> so leave a like on this episode if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you guys soon. Bye for now.